Do you have power in? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I have power. Do I have output? If I've got, you know, one volt or less, but yet I've got, you know, we'll say 410A, for example, say it's a 410A circuit, I've got four or 500 PSI, but I've only got one volt output, something's wrong. This transducer ain't, it's not responding. The lower number is, is going to be your lower pressure, higher number is gonna be your higher pressure. To check your output, you're gonna go DC volts here between the output wire and the common. And then again, it does depend. Is this AC or DC? It could be either or, but depending on what type of voltage it is, you would check that across these two points. It's gonna be hard to check this at the transducer. You're really better off finding where that's at on the controller here and troubleshooting it here. So for example, these two, I'm pretty confident. No, I'm sorry. These down here. These were my transducers. And that's funny. You know what? I'm sitting here looking at that. It's a J7. Yeah, those are my J7s. It says green on the schematic, but they're actually white in reality. Yeah, be careful with that. <laughs> anyway, so you would literally, this is where a set of needle test pins becomes critical. So if, if all you have are the regular, just uh, a, a regular uh, test pin for your meter, another thing you're going to need to invest in is a set of needle tips to add to that. Because you're not going to fit without potentially breaking something, a regular uh, pins in here. So you really want to get those needle point pins. Uh, fill piece is, is one I could highly recommend. They have an excellent set. Uh, they're little, little black long needle points and they, they've got insulated, right? Highly recommend those. Anyway, you would use that here. So let's just pull this off. Uh, you would test DC volts between the white and the black, and then you would do, say, as an example, it's 24 volts AC. You'd switch over to 24 volts AC and read between the red and the black to see, one, are you getting power, and then is it outputting the DC 